one guitar as wide as possible. Typically I'll just record a guitar on one track. This time I'm going to record the guitar on two tracks. And the way I'm going to make it wide is by having her play through a splitter pedal. And that splitter will go into two heads and then two cabs. And then I'm liking each cab and I'm going to have each cab on its own track. So now when she plays, it's going to be wide. So I'll split those far left and right. And because there's two heads, they'll react differently, differently to what she's playing. And there'll be a push-pull kind of a, a stereo image that way. I wonder if this might actually be an MWL mic. It looks like an MWL. It looks like the MWL. Oh, so I was outside. right. You have been right, yes. It's a, this is a... The guy, TAB guy, it was a Count Willison. Uh, and he was all about making it as sturdy as possible. So you see, these connectors are his addition to the microphone. Okay. They are much more right. reliable in his eyes. I see. This uh, tube in it with the wings from the Second World War, because the MWL was an exact copy. Berlin was bombed, and yeah. they moved the production of the yes, microphones yes, right. to, uh, to another place. And so this TAB people started to build it. Is this going to, does this have an external power supply? Both have an external power supply. So that'll be quieter than the RFT. The RFT is also another big bottle mic, mm -hmm. that, but it's the power supplies inside and it usually has a nice hum. into the basement and go boom Ooh, yeah. in the middle of that on the song and then maybe going into this hole in here too the same thing like mm -hmm. yeah. Boom. Yeah. yeah just the two biggest toms in fact you've got yeah, one big giant yeah. floor tom right that, that's, that's yeah. if, if it's possible to do two so that there's a we could use a, the kick and uh, the 18 kick as a song Great. Yeah. Yes. Right. Which microphone do you want for the basement? Fair WH. Okay. So what? Oh girl, no you got a L E T G O. Oh girl, no you got a L E T G O. Been done for months now, girl. Just L E T G O. Oh girl, no you got a got a L E T G O. So, you know, I think for this project we're going to sacrifice a guitar and uh, we're going to do a special guitar solo where we're going to tie a rope onto this or something. We connect it to an amp, but we'll be dragging it behind a car. Maybe on the Autobahn, since we're here, right? gonna drag a guitar outside of this van on the asphalt yeah I have this mic here it's a WA14 by Warm Audio in my audio interface Scarlett Focusrite 
by Focusrite. And then in Pro Tools here on my laptop. And maybe we're gonna drag another sacrificial microphone too. adventures in sound history. Well, my intention on getting a mix is to have everything shaped like I would put together a painting. So, not everything is going to be in focus. I might blur out some of the background stuff. Um, so I want to make sure I know what it is I want to have in focus and concentrate on those things. So I start basically putting together the picture, the rough picture, uh, and make sure that I identify those things that I want to bring out. It might only be like one little section where I want uh, a vocal to come really forward. And if, if I decide that, then I'm going to make sure that that vocal is dry so it just pops out. Uh, and then a big chorus, I might want to go big, big, big and have layered guitars in a chorus. So I want to add some reverb and make sure that I've got a, um, a like the entire scene, the panorama uh, with all these things placed in it. It might be, you know, pianos, and strings, and whatever. Uh, anyway, shaping, putting together the mix is always a lot of fun for me because if I tracked it, especially if I've tracked the uh, the original recording, then I can uh, realize those original ideas in the fun mix. Yeah, do you have paper towels on the uh, the overhead mics? I do. Why, why do you have those? Because I hate banging my head into them. So, uh, <laughs> so more times now I do hybrid mixing. Right now I'm doing these mixes in the box. Uh, which means that uh, everything, all the processing will be done inside the computer and I'll just have a stereo output that I'll be monitoring. Uh, but I love using an analog console and having, instead of everything in the computer, I'll have things come out in stamps. So I'll have a pair of, of uh, tracks come out of the computer that'll be just the drums and a pair of tracks for the bass and a pair of tracks for vocals. And then I bring those up on an analog console. I still do the heavy lifting inside the computer, like the levels and reverbs and things. I'll do that in the computer. But the, there's something really great about bringing everything out into the analog, uh, into the analog reality, and uh, it, everything just kind of comes together better and it fits better. And the ultimate result, I think, is better if you do hybrid mixing. Uh, which is a combination of computer and analog console. Three plugins that are my Desert Island plugins are really simple. I think one would be an MV2, which is a Waves plugin, which is a simple compress compressor uh, that just brings everything up front. Another one is the UAD uh, plugin, that is the 1073 plugin. When I'm in, in a mix uh, in the box, I'll drag that one out a lot. Um, and let's see, the Valhalla reverbs now are my true favorites. It's a place. 